Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your November love reading. So at the bad Aquarius, we have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Maybe you're going through a breakup this month. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Then we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Over energy is let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So for some of you could be going through a breakup or you're in a relationship and you're having trouble expressing how you feel towards your person. Could be dealing with a Leo, a Cancer Scorpio, Pisces hair, or Libra. Um, if this isn't your scenario, this is a past person trying to express how they feel about you because they want to balance the scales here, but they're but they're scared of how you are going to react here. Because they still have some things hidden that they want to tell you here. Or you're scared of telling this person how they feel because you don't because you've been hurt in the past here. And it's hard to express um how you feel. But spirit is saying for you to trust the situation, it's calling for you to have faith and know that you don't have to go through this alone here. You know, reach out to your friends or a trusted family member here. To get through this in the month of November, Aquarius. Nonetheless, here you just want happiness. Like you're manifesting your happiness here with the magician. You're manifesting something here. Yeah. You're manifesting a new connection where this person or your past pe people that you've been with are players here. And you're trying to get out of that cycle with the Eight of Swords in reverse here. You're becoming unstuck, but you don't know which direction to take here. You know, the chariot. This is your person here undecided on whether to come towards you here to express how they feel. Why? Because the Ace of Cups is in reverse here. You're dealing with the Cancer. They are thinking about you. Um, you do make them happy here. Again, strong real energy. They feel like they lost the one or you feel like they're the one and you don't want to let this go. So you're following your intuition to keep the situation. But you just need to come out of their selfish ways if you are in a committed relationship here. So dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But why are the feelings, um, why aren't you speaking up here? Yeah. So you and your person, you're hopeful that you can heal this here. This is your Aquarius energy, but you're not speaking up about it. I feel like some of you Aquarius, you're still putting this person through tests to see if they're going to pass here. You know, to see if you want this, if, you're, if you want to either stay and work this out or walk away to a more fulfilling connection here. But some of you, you don't want to leave here because you're still attracted to this person here, this fire sign. You know, you see stability with them. You have an emotional connection. Maybe there's money issues here that you want this person to um, get it together here. You know, a tire moment is happening from up to November for you where you might just call it quits with this person, you know, which is why separation is here. A time apart from your partners on the horizon because you're just not seeing eye to eye when it comes to money here. It could be taking this person to court. Um, could be battling this person in court. Why? Because we have the seven of wands and the lovers here. We're dealing with Gemini here. This person's going to tell you how they feel. But again, they're not coming forward because they feel like you've blocked them here. The ace of swords in reverse. They're scared of how, you, how you're going to react. And again, they want to come forward here. But they're letting their pride get to them here. Because they don't want to get hurt as well. Yeah. There's something that they have to tell you here that's hidden with this moon card. There's a Pisces energy here. So I have Pisces in your chart. But yeah, they have something hidden here. It could be a child. The Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands in reverse. And this is why they're hesitating to come forward. Yeah, they're thinking about the past. This could have been how they hurt you in the past. They had a child they didn't tell you about, and this made you unhappy. Yeah, third party energy. So this is why that hesitation is there for some of you. Why well, is the moon here? Because we have the moon showing up twice. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, and Six of Pentacles in reverse. Look at all these Pentacles. Something's going to come to light in regards to money here. This person has more money than they've stated. Or they're giving their money to, you know, an ex-wife or children that you don't know about. And they're scared to tell you there. That's where it is. Nonetheless, for some of you, you just want to be single here, focusing on your money. You're going to have a more stable connection coming in if you're single. One that's not going to um, take advantage of you here. It's going to be very long-term and stable. But there's still some hurt over the past, so Korea, that you're trying to heal from and let go. Yeah, yeah, you're working on it here. You're feeling your emotions, which is good here. And things are going to balance out. Sagittarius energy here, they're going to come in. But the only after really one thing with this ace of wands here is going to be in and out and they are going to hurt you if you take this past person back 
Spirit is saying to focus on yourself right now, focus on your goals and what excites you here. Um, because with temperance, you know, it is going to balance out here. We have the chariot at, at the bottom of the deck. So things are going to work in your favor here. All right, Aquarius. Any advice? For my Aquarius here, we have, if you could do anything, what would it be, Aquarius? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, the answer dwells in your heart here. Don't overthink it. We have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of, fo instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to get to yourself. So this month of November, take time for yourself here. You know, like I was saying before, this is all going to work out. Being your queen of cups energy here, embrace this new beginning for yourself. Because things are going to work out in your favor here. All right, anything else, my Aquarius? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. You, we have the situation, is, yeah, the situation is calling for you to have faith and follow it with faith. Again, trust in the universe because things are going to balance out here. All right, Aquarius. I really hope this helps. And if you guys like to book a personal reading with me, please go to my website below. Thank you so much for the support.